Welcome. You're listening to the Bulldog Educator Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. Thank you so much for listening. Music created for the Bulldog Educator is by David Galvez. Podcast platform is through anchor.fm. with the Bulldog Educator Podcast, and I'm actually recording this episode as I am driving to pick up my son from a volleyball game. I've been meaning to uh, just chat with you guys and really hadn't been able to find the time, so I am doing it as I'm driving Um, and watching a beautiful sunset in, in central Arkansas on a fall evening. And... I um, actually want to talk about where we are. Um, My mind has been um, thinking about the students that my teachers um, interact with on a daily basis. Um, My mind has been on the teachers themselves who I interact with on a frequently, um, almost daily basis. And then my team that supports those teachers who I am definitely interact on a daily basis, if not every hour basis, um, within the normal working hours, of course. And um, one of the things that I notice, um, no matter where you stand, politically, religiously, education-wise, one of the things I can find in common with everyone is that we all are weary. We all have um, a certain amount of underlying fears. Um, Our kids are concerned because things don't look like they normally do. Um, Our parents of our students are worried because um, they're not sure um, if um, their students needs are being met, whether they be social-emotional needs um, or their academic needs. There's a lot of concerns there, and I know on the flip side of that, teachers are doing everything they can to meet those needs, Um, but at the forefront of that is just the, the situation that we're in, and so I guess the where I am right now is making sure that we just see one another, see each other for who we are, just our human, raw people that we are. Um, Sometimes we put up a lot of walls or we don't uh, share what's really going on or we make light of a concern because we think our concern is not as serious or um, or as um, difficult as someone else's but what I want to say is that if you have something that really is weighing on you no matter how small you think it is find someone to talk to them about it and um, the other thing is is that if you're on the other side of that receiving that information from someone, really lean in. Um, Give you an example today, my daughter shared some concerns that she has about the present state of um, our country. And I'm not gonna go into the details because I'm not gonna make this political in any way. But um, I told her that I hear her concerns I hear um, why she has those concerns, and I recognize um, where those concerns are coming from, and I can definitely understand how she feels. And, And then we kind of backed it down to what is it that we, we, we do have, um, situate you know a control of the situation what is it that we can do and what is it that we can focus on and what do we have to just um, 
let go or maybe trust that it's going to be okay, maybe not in the immediate, but in the long run, um, we have to trust there are systems and things in place that it's it's going to work out. Um, and then at the same time, still say it's okay not to be okay. And so I guess what I'm telling you guys tonight as I'm driving to pick up my son from volleyball um, is that we all find ways to cope. Um, I'm honestly looking at things right now and I have attempted to fill every waking moment with something to do because it's easier to be busy for me than to sit and con contemplate where things are. Um, for example, I started this podcast. Um, in addition to that, I have been trying to keep up with this podcast with a blog, and I decided to go back to school to get a um, endorsement in online teaching and learning along with the master's degree that I already have. And then I joined a cohort for um, basically mentorship with leadership um, through innovation. And, um, and then, of course, there's all the other uh, little projects I pick up on the side because um, sitting still and being quiet and reflecting on something beyond what I'm presently doing scares the crap out of me, to be honest. And so I'm just kind of wondering who else either may be filling their time like I am or possibly sitting in the, the fear that I'm trying to avoid. And how can we help one another? How can we just be there for one another? So as I finish this drive to pick up my son, I want to encourage you to reach out to those that you may not normally reach out to and encourage them. Um, we're likely to reach out to the people we feel comfortable reaching out to, but it may be one of those very situations where you have a person that comes to mind or, um, or um, someone that you wouldn't normally reach out to, but they're on your mind. And I think that's for a very good reason. Um, I have had some people that they go by that and they have reached out to me and the timing has always been perfect. I have always needed that person to reach out to me um, in that very time. So if there's someone as you're listening to this that comes to mind, um, I would even pause the podcast and call them right now or send them an email or write them a letter um, and just make that connection with them because I, I believe that there's a reason that they've come to mind for you. And I just hope this finds you in a great, a good spot. If not in a good spot, again, I hope that you'll reach out to someone and just know that the Bulldog Educator, we are thinking about you. Um, we continue to pray for our educators across the nation and our students and our parents and our schools. And um, we just hope that you guys can find some beauty in the sunset tonight, just like I did as I was driving on this fall evening. Thanks. That is the Bulldog Educator. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Bulldog Educator, hosted by yours truly, Kirsten Wilson. You can find The Bulldog Educator on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the handle at thebulldogedu. That's at thebulldogedu. You can also find us and content related to education and this podcast on our blog at thebulldogedu.org.